Alrighty, so I found this Lenovo tower with an AMD processor. It's the Ryzen 5 3600, which is the most popular CPU. It is a 6-core 12 thread that allows overclocking. And uh, I believe this this computer has a motherboard that can overclock considering it has 4 RAM slots. It has the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Super, which is a great graphics card. It, uh, it's right up there with the RX 580. Very solid medium end graphics card. It will run pretty much any game you throw at it, even a higher game at like 60 FPS. Fortnite would be probably pretty close to uh, the 240 mark with this PC if you upgrade the RAM to 16 gigs. So that's pretty neat. Uh, it does come with a generic keyboard and mouse, so that's not great. But uh, the airflow is very good, considering it's all holes at the front. It also has liquid cooling available at the top. It does not come with liquid cooling. It probably comes with a regular uh, Ryzen CPU cooler. It does have four RAM slots, it says right here. Oh, it actually has memory speed of 3200. That's interesting. That's pretty good. Uh, do, 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 do. Ethernet and Wi Fi. So it does have Wi Fi. So that all that means is it connects to your Wi Fi. It doesn't mean you can go anywhere and you'll have internet. Where the heck did it go? Here we go. So yeah, it has a uh, four memory slots. So it actually means the motherboard's actually pretty good. And the reason it has a negative review. This is hilarious. Google Chrome keeps crashing brand new out of box. <laughs> he probably didn't update his Windows drives before downloading Chrome, so no wonder it doesn't work. <sighs> Some people. Uh, the only thing I would upgrade is the RAM. Uh, it's probably going to be hard to find a matching stick, so you're probably going to have to keep this off to the side just in case you have any problems and just buy a new kit of 2x8 DDR4. Uh, G-Skill is probably the cheapest which you would just uh, buy, buy the uh, 2x8 kit of this and maybe even go up to 3200 again but uh, you can overclock 3000 pretty easily but anyways I built the PC it it comes out to be this much but you still have to add windows keyboard and mouse so I went with just like very basic stuff very basic Wi-Fi stick and the cheapest windows I could possibly get and it comes out to $692. So for just $30, or sorry, $40, somebody throws it together for you, so you aren't getting raked over the coals too, too bad with this. I probably recommend this PC for someone starting out. $729 is really not that bad for getting a solid processor. It is upgrade friendly uh, when it's time, but while it's still under warranty, the only thing I would do is upgrade the RAM. Wait till the year's up and then start upgrading what you actually want to upgrade.